from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance in every circumstance and in all things. I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in Him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading for today comes from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. In the first reading, we saw how gracious God is to His people and how through Isaiah the people was shown how to respond to God. In the second reading, we have this wonderful person, Paul, who could testify to us what it means for someone to have received God's generous love, given to a person who did not deserve that love, given to a person who even persecuted the followers of God's Son, yet in God's graciousness was called to be an apostle. St. Paul, in all of his readings, is mindful of that. He is an apostle. He is what he is because only of God's graciousness, God's generosity and love. Here, in the letter to the Philippians, he tells us that he has received strength from God. He has received this sustaining force and energy for mission, for discipleship from God. If in the first reading you have images of food and wine, of veils and uh, tears being wiped away, here in St. Paul, the image of God's action, God's grace in his life is strength. We all long for strength. We all have our weak moments. We all have moments of emptiness, dryness. There are moments of doubt when we are not sure anymore whether we are taking the right path. We all need strength. And St. Paul here tells us that the gracious God came to him in the form of strength. And look at the fruit. St. Paul, in whatever situation he faced, whether it's a situation of plenty or want, whether it's a situation of comfort or distress, he had the strength to continue. Ah, Look at how God's grace operates. It is the strength that sustains someone in whatever situation one finds oneself. That's why St. Paul can bear with any situation. It doesn't matter whether the situation is positive or negative, good times or bad times, inconvenient or convenient. He has strength from God. Wow. We all want to experience this, huh? We all want. Now, but the graciousness of God is met with a response on the part of St. Paul. But St. Paul was also mindful of one manifestation of God's grace, and it is how the Philippians shared in the hardships of Paul. My dear brothers and sisters, we can all be instruments of God's grace and generosity to other people by sharing in other people's concerns, sorrows, distresses. When people show, see in us compassion and love, they think of God strengthening them. And so the response of St. Paul to God is 
praise. Again, a fitting, a fitting uh, response to the gracious God. We have to praise God. We have to be grateful to God. We have to proclaim God's praises. But another response of St. Paul is to pray for the people who have become instruments of God in strengthening Him. What a beautiful way to respond to God. Aside from praising God, I remember other people and I pray for them so that their needs will be met by God, so that the strength that I have received from God may be experienced by them too. Brothers and sisters, I'm sure like Paul, you have experienced strength from God, miraculous strength from God. What was your response? Did you praise God? And did it lead you to pray for the needy, for those who are also in need of strength? Let us review our quality, the quality of our response to God's graciousness to us.